Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going on? Thank you so much for clicking the video. I am Iris, and welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. And today, I'm gonna be doing a guide on builder base designs and the things you want to keep in mind before you actually copy up a base or do your own. So, the reason why the base up in builder base is really important is because uh, it's unlike the main village where it's all depending on your attacking style, but up in here is the base that actually matters the most more than you're attacking because if you have a really good base and even though you end up losing a battle i mean if you end up doing a very bad attack you'll probably cope up with that if you have a very good base so that's the reason why you actually want to have a very good base up in build base rather than doing two stars or three stars on your opponent so there are things there are some things you want to keep in mind before you actually copy up the base so the first thing should be that you need to keep the builder hall in the middle in the center the next one would be the walls the placement of the walls you want to make sure that you keep them in the right way the next one would be the defenses you want to make sure that you don't expose the defenses and lastly the trap placement because these are the only four things which you can actually do in order to master up doing bases so i'll be explaining that in detail but before that make sure to subscribe to the channel if you already do that right now also leave a like if you enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to click on the bell notification icon to get notified when I put a new Clash of Clans content. So yeah, let me just go ahead and explain you every single bit of making a very good base design. So the first thing is, of course, make sure you keep the builder hall right in the middle. Now, you want to make sure that you do this because if you keep the builder hall exposed, you'll probably go with that from archers. You'll drop in two or three archers or maybe four or five archers make sure that take down the builder hall and after that they'll just proceed with giants and barbarians and probably clear down the other side of the base and get the two star that's what you don't want to do if you if your base is actually giving up two star very easily then you your chances of winning the uh, battle is really going to be hard so you want to make sure that you keep the builder hall right in the middle make sure that they have to go through all the defenses all the traps and then is where they're actually going to get through the builder hall to make sure that you keep the builder hall right in the middle that's what you actually want to do and that is what you exactly have to do if you want to have a very good base now the next thing is of course the defenses you don't want to expose the defenses you don't want to keep the defenses somewhere aside or really uh, far from others you want to make sure that you keep the defenses pretty much in the middle you don't want to throw them aside keep them exposed very easy for the artist to take over you want to make sure that you don't do that over there so make sure that you cover up the defenses right in the middle beside the builder hall is what you exactly want to do the next thing is the walls you want to make sure that you use the walls the right way you want to make sure that you're actually uh, protecting the defenses and the builder hall itself so make sure that you use the walls the right way don't put the miles away from the builder hall and the defenses you want to make sure that you protect the defenses and the builder hall the resources don't matter up in here so make the main two main things is the defenses and the builder hall itself so make sure you use the walls make sure you uh, cover up the builder hall if you can and protect the builder hall that's exactly what you want to do the next thing is the traps the traps again play a very important role the push trap the spring trap and the normal bombs do a very big thing now if you keep the big bomb up in the middle near the build hall you know what will happen if you put in all barbarians it's going to completely go for a fail so that's the reason why you actually want to have in good traps good placements of trap is what you exactly want to do and make sure you do that without any consideration so make sure you do that and uh, keep the trap placement wherever you want them to don't keep them exposed again don't put the push traps outside you want to keep them inside make sure that you uh, angle them once the push trap is triggered it should go up and end up near the uh, uh, what is that the crusher so make sure you uh, angle the push trap near the crusher so any troop that's coming near the push trap will be actually going through the crusher and actually exploding over there within one shot so again for the spring traps you want to make sure that you actually funnel them in and then where you actually want to keep the spring traps make sure that there's just one path for the spring uh, troops to come in and there is where you actually want to put in the spring trap so that's pretty much it guys these four tips can probably get you a very good base and of course uh, bases is really important up in builder base rather than your attacking style as I explained before so make sure you do a very good base if you're popping up a base on internet make sure you just alter up the 
uh, traps or the walls or anything the defenses um, if it matters so make sure you alter up things because people out there watch videos as well so make sure you alter up the defenses the traps and all the walls and whatsoever you feel is not right for you so thank you so much for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like also implement this guide if you're actually making some bases you really hope you have and thank you so much for watching i'm Arisen. i'll be seeing you the next time until then goodbye